Hey guys, Rhino2960 here, back again for another little video. As you guys have seen previously, the last video I put up was back when I was on the road. Well, it's Thursday, uh, exact time is 8.37, uh, to 8.37 Jet Evan Mountain Time, uh, my time, and I just, and I got back about, I got back home with my mom about two hours ago. It was a nice, enjoyable trip, stress-free, lots of fun. Haven't done it in six years, and it's been a long time coming. But anyway, enough on my personal life. Let's get to a topic that hit me rather by surprise when I got back. Actually, a few topics that I'm going to roll into one video, and I'm going to do my best to try not to flip out here, because the last time I did, I got noise complaints from my neighbors. Anyway, I come back to find out that not only are the Xbox One rumors true, not only does it have a 24-hour always online DRM requirement that will lock you out after 24 hours without access to the internet and cannot be used again until you unlock until you plug it back into an internet connection, plus if you access your own game library on your own account from someone else's console, you end up you get one hour and then it boots you off until and then it boots you off until you boot back onto your own console and not only that used games now are a big issue with it used games they're saying are going to be used games they're saying there's going to be one chance to trade a used game with a friend and that friend has to have been on your day on your friends list for third at least 30 days and you can only do it once and once you've traded that game off you can't get it back once you've loaned the game out you don't get it back so if you have any shit games you might as well dump <coughs> if you have any shit games you might as well dump one of them off on the next random person that decides to pop onto your friends list 30 days after they do that's what Microsoft appears to be saying to people like me I own an Xbox 360. And after what I have read and seen, I will never buy another console from these motherfucking cunt rags again. They will be lucky if I keep any of the stuff that I have that has their logo on it. I have not used my Xbox 360 in almost half a year at this point. I haven't even used it to watch movies. And I have never taken it online. God! I'm trying really hard here not to flip out because the last time I did, people got pissed off. And I don't want to wake it. Well, it's not that late, is it? It's only 8.30. Whatever. Anyway, like I said, not only are all these uh, assorted rumors true, but when uh, one of the games journalist guys tracked down, I think, what's the guy's name? I forget. Let me just double check that on YouTube. Sorry for the somewhat slow pace of this video. I just, I can't remember what the fuck this guy's name is. Not exactly somebody you'd want to remember, I don't think. Anyway. Don Matrick. That's his name. Don Matrick. I have only one thing to give you, my dear, my good sir. One thing that I do not give out lightly. And that is my heartiest fuck you and the whore whose cunt you slid out of. You're not worth the air you breathe, you cocksucker. In his press release bit, when he went off and got caught up by the games journalist guy, his exact words for his exact words for people who are concerned about uh, who are upset about the always online requirement for the Xbox One, he's like, "Oh well, there we are, we have another device for you, and it's uh, we have another device for you, and it's it's a perfect alternative if you're not able to have online if you're not able to." run things online all the, all the time it's it's called the Xbox 360 are you
Are you fucking kidding me? What, do you think this is fucking funny, asshole? Have you just completely lost touch with your customer base? Has it gotten to the point where you've got so much money flapping in front of your eyes that you can't see what, pe what people are saying to you? Three feet from your fucking face? How could anyone be that fucking stupid? No, nope, this isn't stupidity. This guy doesn't get this guy doesn't get that fallback. This is flat out fucking I don't even know what the word for it is. <sighs> Fuck! You fucking got me so pissed off I can't even think of a word to describe your attitude towards people like me. People who fucking gave you that goddamn fucking huge ass fucking corporate license that you're so proudly sitting on and flashing for the whole world to see. Oh, you don't like what I'm giving you, giving you right now? Well, fuck you. Here, take something. Well, fuck you. Here, take this other one. Maybe you'll have fun on that one. Well, fuck you right back, pal. You're lucky I don't fucking take my Xbox track you to your fucking goddamn address, your fucking home address, and fucking light it on fire before fireballing it straight through your front bay window. You pathetic piece of garbage. Did you seriously think that this was going to do you some kind of good? Or was this just a fucking brain fart? Did these guys literally catch you so off guard you had no answer? So you came up with the worst possible one you could possibly find? What the hell is the wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with your company? Have you completely forgotten what you are? You are a video game development company. You cater to gamers. Pe you cater to gamers. Gamers come from all different walks of life. Some of us have the money to be continuously connected to the internet. For fuck's sake, I live on income assistance. I don't actually know why that fucking matters. Never mind that. Anyway, I lost my train of thought. Fuck, 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 fuck! This guy pissed me off unbelievably. Okay, okay, gamers come from all different walks of life. You've got your people who can afford or to be continuously connected to the internet. You've got your people who can afford to be connected. You've got your people who can afford to be connected to the internet continuously. Some of them have don't just simply don't have the money or the resources to do so. Others simply don't have access to it. Believe it or not, internet access does not work everywhere. I know. I just came back from a trip through the mountains, motherfucker. I've been uploading videos on my on a, my mom's fucking iPhone for fuck's sake, and I've been lucky to find a couple of hot spots in the mountains where I could upload. You're just basically saying that if you live in the mountains, if you live in somewhere that doesn't get regular regular internet access, and you don't have the money to afford it, well, fuck you then. Fuck you then. You can buy our product, but it's going to sit there like a useless... It's going to sit there, and it will be a useless plastic brick that just looks pretty. Fuck! It doesn't even look pretty! It looks like a fucking VCR! For fuck's sake, guy! What is wrong with you? You seriously thought this? Thought that we were just gonna roll over and say, "Okay, okay, it's what he says. We'll take it. We'll take it. I'll get, we'll take it. Shut up. Take my money. I'll take the Xbox One. Fuck you. Keep your product. Keep your games. Keep your bullshit service. Keep your bullshit fucking always online." Sorry, I spat on the camera. Keep your bullshit always online requirements and all the other crap assorted fucking baggage that comes with the Xbox three with the Xbox One. Shove it back up your fat ass and go for a twenty five mile walk. Because I don't want anything to do with it. Angry Joe doesn't want anything to do with it. Boogie two nine eighty eight doesn't want anything to do with it. For fuck's sake! Kid behind the camera doesn't want anything to do with it. I'm almost assuredly going to get a noise complaint from my neighbors now because you have fucking pissed me off so badly, pal. You have fucked me and the rest of your former consumer base over so badly it can't even be called a good fuck. This is just a flat out fucking. This is just a flat out fucking attempt at financial rape. You 
should be going to jail for this bullshit ass wipe. And now you've probably gone and made me fucking blow my fucking... You've made me blow my stack. Probably gonna piss my fucking neighbors off again. Just fucking wonderful, man. And then on top of that, I find out another little bit. Wargaming? Oh, I'm not done with you yet either, Wargaming. No, 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 no. No, no. You fucking put out a press release of your own pretty recently. And I was none too pleased to see... World of Tanks is being released for the Xbox 360! What the actual fuck?! For those people who don't understand why this doesn't make any sense, let me start off this way. World of Tanks is a free-to-play game. It always has been, and it's slowly been working its way towards being even better at being free-to-play as time goes on. You can do much more now without ever putting a penny into this game than you once could. There are things you can do now that without uh, go, without putting some real-world currency into the game, you couldn't do at all right off the launch. Now, you can do just about everything. Except buy premium for your account, I think. And transfer experience. That's uh, Those two bits are still... Uh, and I have no problem with that. They can still cash in their money. In my personal opinion on that bit, they've actually, they actually may have done some of that at cost for us. And if they have, I applaud you. Thank you, my good sirs. You've done a wonderful job with that. But, but, releasing it on the Xbox 360 means now, in order to play this particular version of World of Tanks, gamers are going to have to pay the Xbox Live fee. Xbox Internet Access is not free. It has never been. It's always been a pay-per-play service. It's the only fucking console that still is a pay-per-play service. PlayStation did away with theirs. Nintendo did away with theirs. I don't think they even ever had one. I don't actually know if PlayStation ever had one. The only one that I know has had one is fucking Xbox Live. And... By jumping into bed with Microsoft, Wargaming has effectively made their game pay to play on that particular fucking console. Bullshit. I don't care if you're trying to broaden your horizons or not, Wargaming. That was uncalled for. You, you, what, you haven't been paying attention to the fucking news? You haven't fucking been watching any of the bullshit Microsoft has been pulling? For fuck's sake, that company is a... If, 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 if anyone else in the fucking world has any sense, this company, Microsoft, is about to have that entire division of its development tank like the, fu like the fucking Titanic! That ship is going down, baby! And it's not coming back up after this! Sony has won the console wars. And you know what? Xbox fucking helped them do it. <laughs> Xbox didn't come out the gate fighting. They didn't fight to the finish. They just flat out started moonwalking backwards. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know what the fuck to say with this bullshit. Anyway. Yeah. We're gaming... I know you wanted to broaden your horizons with this. Appeal to a wider audience. You've already got a good size one. Don't get greedy. That's all I can say to you here. Don't get greedy. Going with Xbox 360 on... Uh, going, uh, jumping into bed with Microsoft and Xbox on this particular bullshit is going to come back to bite you in the ass in the long run. If anybody else in the world, any other gamer out there, has half an iota of sense, they will never buy this pathetic fucking plastic brick known as the Xbox One. Uh, and, Xbox, and Xbox 360 sales are probably going to go down through the floorboards too. They have successfully shot their consumers in the back. And all we did was trust them. They have shot us in the back, spat in our face. 
We've sat around doing nothing. We've sat around getting complacent with this kind of bullshit for too long. It's time for us to start standing up, screaming at them when they get something wrong from the highest point of the fucking goddamn concert studio, whatever the fuck it is that they're standing in when they do these press releases. We need to have thousands of us up in the rafters screaming and throwing rotten fruit at them when they do something we don't like. So that they'll get the fu- so that the fucking message will get through their titan no adamantium pleated skulls because this is pathetic. This is not acceptable in any way, shape, or form. It needs to be changed. Microsoft needs to get their heads out of their asses fast, or they are going to go the way of the fucking Atari and the fucking Amiga dead and buried like that stupid fucking E.T. game that they're saying something about that they're saying something about in a a Mexican landfill some legendary fucking video game landfill apparently there's 300 copies of the original E.T. game buried there for Atari I don't care, I don't know, I don't care what I'm worried about is what these fuck nuts are doing with my goddamn games while I'm while I've been away on vacation for a week for one fucking week! What do you need, babysitting? For fuck's sake, guys, come on. Anyway, I've got to blow my voice out. It probably pissed my neighbors off. But anyway, again, this is Rhino2960, over and out. We'll see you guys later. Oh, wait, before I jump off. By the way, I did manage to get a few more video clips uh, during the trip uh, than I've already put up. I think I got two or three others. Uh, besides the ones that you've already seen. I'm going to upload them uh, once I get them off my mom's iPhone. That could be a bit, though, so d- don't wait up. Anyway, like I said, I'm going uplo- like to upload this and then get back to tanking because it's been a long time since I fiddled with the tanks. Anyway, Rhino2960, over and out.